titration of phosphoric acid with alkaline bases. Phosphoric acid is a tribasic acid which can be neutralized with alkaline bases during a titration process. Measuring the pH against the added volume of base, we observe that the acid loses its protons in steps. The experimental titration setup uses a 0.1 molar phosphoric acid to be titrated with sodium hydroxide, 0.2 molar. Record the pH of the sample at each 0.5 milliliter of added base. If you plot the pH against the volume of base added, you will get the so-called titration curve. To do the experiment, pour 10 ml of 0.1 phosphoric acid into a 50 ml beaker. Add the same amount of water to be able to immerse the pH electrode in the solution. Place the pH electrode close to the beaker's wall. Turn on the magnetic stirrer. Adjust the position of the burette containing the 0.2 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. Record the initial pH of the solution. Start the titration and record the pH at each 0.5 milliliter of base added. At 5.5 ml of base added, observe a pH jump from 2.4 to over 6. This corresponds to the first ionization step of the phosphoric acid according to the shown reaction. Further addition of base will raise slowly the pH.
A second pH jump is noticed at around 11.5 ml of base added. This is the second equivalence point when the dehydrogenophosphate ions are completely neutralized into monohydrogenophosphate. We keep adding the base. The pH is raising slowly again with no pH jump at around 50-60 ml added. If the titration is performed in the presence of acid-base indicators, in this case a mixture of methyl orange and bromthymol blue, we notice the color changes when the pH jumps due to the equivalence points. First, the indicator turns from red to greenish-yellow. Then, at the second equivalence point, from greenish yellow, it turns to green. After finishing, you can discard the solutions in the drain.